Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series or mini-series entirely depending on your support here on Vault of the Void, an upcoming roguelike deck builder coming out in December here. We did a Let's Try video on it and checked it out for a little bit and it is phenomenal. It is very good. It is one of the next great roguelike deck builders and I'm excited to be doing a series here today and showcasing it for you. Crank it up to impossible. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll be doing normal. We did the introduction, which was just the first floor before. I will try and go in and tutorialize things a little bit as best as I know them. I don't know them very well because, like I said, I've only done one run. But it's a very fun, unique uh, take on a roguelike where you also have a sideboard, kind of like a, like a Hearthstone card collection, you know? Uh, you go through, you, you get a pack to start with, you get cards throughout the run that you can have in your your backpack essentially but you only take 20 with you into each fight making it so you can build cool things you can take things for later so you can have like a, a cool build that you have and you can have a cool build idea that you have in your the back of your mind that you might be able to make later that kind of thing you don't get hard countered by one specific thing which is an issue that i i kind of feel like i run into with a lot of roguelike deck builders so here we go vault of the void we've got three characters here in the Let's Try video, we did the Blade, so we're going to be doing the Bleed here. Uh, starting Spell, all of this, oh boy. <laughs> uh, we won't go over it right now. We'll start with the, just going in and going in with the basics. We get a booster to start with as well. I imagine that this is random every single time. Uh, we'll add those to our backpack and then look at that in a bit. Before each delve into the Vault, you can add a Mastered Class card to your backpack. Choosing a card will cause it to be on cooldown for the next run, meaning you can never take the same card twice in a row. If you haven't mastered any cards, you'll always get the option to add a health potion. Okay, I, I don't quite fully know. We'll, we'll figure out what that means in a bit. Uh, basically, it looks like we just get a free card. And the thing is, you don't have to worry as much about getting junked cards. The Void chooses their guardians and assigns their blessings. You'll face these evil apparitions on floor three the vault okay so it looks like okay and we also know what we're going for in the end i will cleanse this place if it's evil <laughs> what the hell does that sound there uh but i also want to make make something clear right off the bat here there was some copyright issues with uh the soundtrack uh that against the devs wishes so there is going to be uh, sound, uh, the main menu theme going in the background, there's a couple of songs in the mix, there's just gonna be that one for now, but within, uh, before release, there's going to be more music, so don't worry, there's gonna be more variety. Uh, but in we shall go, the remains of those who walked before you line these halls. Looking around, the floor is littered with lost and forgotten items, a chill runs down your spine and you stoop down to collect what the dead have left behind. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain an upgrade point. <laughs> There's so much that we're going for that uh, you could just ignore if you are new to this for now. Just just know that I'm making one of my cards stronger. That's what's happening right now. And let's just pick a random one so we don't dwell on it for too long. Uh, so, this is our floor layout. We have three floors that we're going to have to get through here. Uh, we can pick our path here as a, in standard fare. We will just go up here for now. Uh, without ex explaining anything too much, we'll just, without even uh, doing so much as managing our deck, we'll do that for our second fight. Let's just get in, explain the basics, and then we'll do the rest of that later. So, there's some things that are going to be pretty straightforward and pretty familiar, which is, you know, these are our cards, we draw them, they have mana costs in the upper left, and we have it down here, it's energy. You start with three, and then every turn you will gain two which is important to know. We also have an ability on a cooldown here, a la like a Hearthstone or something, except it doesn't cost any mana. It just has a cooldown. Uh, we'll look at that in a bit. We have our enemies up here. And one very important thing that is different about this game is right here, the battle progress bar. You can see as I hover over them, they all have their own unique percentage that they're saying there. So basically, if this is saying if we kill the Throat Cutter, this bar will go up to 50%. If we kill a Void Enchantress, she's worth 60%. If we only kill him, next turn somebody else will take his place. If we kill him, somebody else will take his place. We need to basically get this up to 100% for enemies to stop showing up, which gives you the opportunity to dispatch enemies in more 
uh, in, in different and more strategic ways. And alas, we also have, of course, what they are going to be doing on the bottom here. An attack, which is their damage is right here, and the amount of times they attack is right there. So he's going to do two damage, but it's not going to happen right away. Also, we apparently have four threat incoming, so I'm missing something. All, all okay, because all creatures gain two attack power. That's why that's happening. So we're going to play our cards here. We have no threat incoming, so we don't need to block. So this is the other major important feature of uh, Vault of the Void. Block can only be used on the turn if you already have... I mean, it can be used whenever, but it's a waste. If there is no threat right here. Currently, there is zero threat. This attack, we don't have to block it right now. We block it next time. As far as I'm aware, right? As far as I'm aware... You know what? Let's test it. Yeah, C is a waste. But this is one of the major features. So... You can also cycle this card for mana. Because if we don't, it's going to stay in our hand. It will stay in our hand for next turn. Uh, I'm going to do something real quick. Sound effects. Let's pop those bad boys down a bit. Kind of weirdly loud, huh? Still, still a little loud, huh? So we have draw blood. Inflict five damage. Inflict an additional three if the target is bleeding. Uh... We don't have any way to make anybody bleed right now. Let's just get the kill. Tis with tis. So he is going to be replaced. There's something to be said about attacking him and then attacking her. So that he didn't get replaced. That would probably be maybe even the smarter thing to do. Must regain one attack power. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of attack power all over the place here. So we have no threat currently. We don't have to block anything, so I wouldn't even go as far as to say we can just probably say, eh, sayonara. Apply bleed five. Suffers damage per stack after the enemy turn. Takes down by one when triggered. So, we could apply the bleed five, and then he would do his thing, and then at the end of the turn... Okay, and then at the end of the turn, he would take the damage. Okay, so, five. We could do eight... We could spend all three of these to kill this guy because we could do eight damage and eight damage because they would take the additional three because the target is bleeding. What is this one here? Target creature suffers three bleed. If they're currently planning attack, suffers five bleed and weak one instead. Well, see, that's a pretty darn good ability, huh? Let's do it. How much bleed? Five? Sure. All good to me. So, he is going to attack, but it's just going to go right here. We don't take the damage. Our HP is up in the upper left. We don't take that damage yet. We would if we don't block it here. However, we can also apply bleed three and, well, we might as well just go for that. Because you're going to die to the bleed. You're going to die to the bleed. doesn't even matter what their stuff does. But see right here, we can just cycle that. We gained a mana. If we don't play these, they'll be in our next hand. Usually, according to the tutorial at least, it's a good idea to just... Uh... Oh wait, we already blocked. Because with that card, was three bleed and eight block. I forgot. All right. All good. I know there's a, probably a lot right now. But I, I promise you, it's a, it, it's kind of like a, a normal roguelike deck builder mixed with like a, a collectible card game. So... Let's focus on what is unique about this now. So, <laughs> there's, it's a very highly customizable one. You over the course of time, the more damage you like, when you there's a bar above the um, the fight meter with the percentages, and when that gets filled up, you get a new gem. These are basically just ways to uniquely upgrade a card because there's this slot right here, right there, right there, right there. You just slap that gem in there, and it gets that effect. Draw a card, discard a card in addition to what it already normally does. These are our cards that we don't have in our deck right now. Rage 25%. For the rest of the turn, all attack cards deal more damage. Wow. Okay. Eight damage, it does cost two mana. I mean, we, we should be putting some of these in our deck. I just didn't mess with that before. Because I felt like it didn't make it, it didn't really matter that much. But any defensive cards? No, 20% of your max HP. So we can put that in our deck. 
it'll it'll take a slot when we are drawing, but it doesn't take a slot for this because it is a it is a potion. It is a unique thing. Block 20, trigger all bleed expel. That seems really good to have in this deck. We can only have a max of 20, so we have to take out one of the basic blocks. Block 20, trigger all bleed. That sounds nice to have. All swift attack cards played will also bleed one. Swift will have the swift keyword. I don't know. Oh, this is swift. It says they're right under the name there. Okay. So it's a buff. What do I want to take away? I don't think I want to take away any bleed. I'm going to be crazy. Let's take away one of the blocks. Let's go aggro. Inflict four damage to all creatures. Apply bleed four to all creatures. Sounds like a good idea to have. Inflicts 20 damage. And if you kill an enemy with this card, draw two. That sounds good too. We'll, we'll adjust all this. I mean, this is it's getting kind of expensive. Uh, what does weak do? Reduces AP by 25%. I also kind of want to get rid of a draw blood to put in that. Okay, so where are we at? Draw a card, discard a card. What is a good cycling card? What's something that we will probably, probably want to play that is cheap? Let's probably put it in a draw blood then, I guess. Sure. I don't know if there's ever a way to remove that. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, we probably should have put it in the better one. Well, but you know what? Maybe we can save something uh, to put in there. Let's... All right, let's get silly. This is this is silly. Everything just got expensive. It's okay. We can change it later. So this one that has the green arrow right here, that means that this is an upgrade. If we if we win this fight, we also get an upgrade, which I don't think we have any of right now. I think it would just have us do it at the end of the fight there. Uh, that's the difference between this one and this one, effectively. We are also going to get the for the throat. The thing is, you don't have to worry about junk cards because it just uh it doesn't matter if you have bad cards you just don't don't put them in your deck then uh but one thing that i think is really fun you have these fights you get familiar with this fight you know what it's going to be it'll tell you right here what you kind of want to do and then you can go in and you can change apparently your spell if you unlock ones and you can change your deck to fight that fight accordingly so it does away with that thing that that pesky thing that i think is one of the only flaws with Slay the Spire is, the, in for me, is that it it feels like there's some fights that you just can't win with certain builds. Like, it, uh, and I know that it's like, yes, build your car, your deck to be very spread out and uh, and neutral so that it can handle all those situations. But I think it's really fun to build into these crazy meme combos. So I like that we can have that in our back pocket. If it doesn't work out, we switch to something else. I like that idea. So, this is a leader. When this creature is destroyed, all other creatures suffer week three. And he's about to howl, increasing their attack power. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to uh, kill anybody but the middle one here. Creature will deal two damage whenever it's the target of an attack card. He's about to, all creatures are going to get home. Oh so everybody's going to gain one HP inflicts two Bane, which seems like it is just a junk card. Yep. This card is useless. It's a card of shame. Shame. Uh, all right. We, we don't want that. We also don't really care about any block for this first turn. I think we go all in here. Boom. <laughs> oh my God. That is a lot of damage. Ooh. So this character spell lasts between fights the cooldown. That is very important to know. Eight damage twice. Whenever it's the target of an attack card. So we're going to take four damage or two damage? Because it's only the target once. Also, am I going to take damage for this? Yep. I was just curious, okay? I was just curious. So here's the thing, though. We can uh, we can generate enough mana to do both that and that. So we have no... We're not going to be taking any damage because we were able to reduce it down. Good call. And there's the bleed. 
You're done next turn. This is just so sad, though. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, so we get to upgrade a card, deal 10 damage two times. Rage 50. That seems like a lot. 25 damage, draw two, gain energy. That seems really good, too. Uh, all swift attack cards played will also do bleed two. That seems like that could be a really good, uh, a really good thing. What's purge? Purge. Oh, if you purge it, you gain five block. Oh, oh. So purging is holding down the right click, turning it into mana. That's a really, that's a really interesting effect. So it's basically, if you draw this, you gain five block for free. And then expel means when you play it once, then it's out of your deck for that fight. That's that's really interesting and versatile. I, I'm kind of thinking that might be... That might be kind of fun. I like that, because it's a very expensive card, so having an ability like that seems really, 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 really nice. Corrupted Ogre. This beast constantly regenerates and then can inflict dazes before attacking. I don't care. It looks like we also got a, uh, a Void Stone that we should have maybe looked at there. We do more damage if he's bleeding, so let's get him bleeding. And then we don't need that. Let's just generate. We're Actually, you know what? We should have kept it. We should have kept it because we're going to have an overflow. Because we gain two, but we have a max of five. Boo! Okay, there's we have no threat right now. All swift attacks will also deal the bleed. Sure. That's a lot of damage. We got 12 incoming. So hopefully we will draw that big boy card. If not, I think we'll actually kill him before this turns out. Well, we did draw the big boy card. It says eight. How much mana do we have? So if we actually send that, we can then do this and recover all of that. Draw one, discard one. And then you should die to the bleed, right? Am I wrong? Oh, even with the regen. Yes, okay. I will say the game is currently still in development here as a reminder. It is going to be out in December. If you want to get it, please, please, in the link in the description, wishlist the game for yourself. Uh, I think it's so promising. It's very, very, very fun from what I've played already. And hey, while we're plugging stuff, I'm trying desperately to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, I've been doing this for eight plus years uh, daily, a bunch of roguelike content every single day. I got it here for you if it is something that you like. So that is my pitch. That's who I am. Yada yada. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button because that, that stuff does matter as far as getting uh, it ranking higher in search results. That's my pitch. I'll say it now. You'll know based off of what I said if you want to <laughs> subscribe or like. So I'm going to move on. All right. We got ourselves an elite here. Stronger minions of the void. So these beasts are offered three souls. So that's something we didn't even talk about. That's... Uh, basically just a, a thing we can trade later. Can't remember where. It's right here. We can trade that later for uh, minimum cost six souls. Is there, I, I can't even remember. I think it's like passives. Passive abilities. Alright. Block four. Block four. What do we want to put the block four on? What if we, if it, it doesn't like deal eight damage twice. That doesn't actually make us do it twice, right? That seems too good to be true. We could either put it on a parry so we just block more. Bleed three, block four. I kind of want to put it on that. If it's going to be uh, block eight, block four. So we're going to block 12. <laughs> Math is power. Uh, if we're going to be spending a whopping two mana, which is 
Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot. Then we kind of want to uh, make sure that's good there. Inflict six damage, gain overcharge. While you have overcharge, you gain plus one energy each turn. Max energy is increased by one per stack. Okay, so it's basically just a way to get a little extra money. I or, or mana. I kind of like the idea of staying within our bleed theme. So I'm gonna say no for putting that in my deck for now. But the thing is, we don't have to. Uh, oh, oh! Inflict eight damage if you have overcharged. Inflict another eight. See now, there you go. Now we're talking, and that's what I'm talking about. I saw, I have that card in my backpack, and I'm like, I don't know if I want it right now. Can be punished for playing a lot of cards in a turn. Okay. Well, we're kind of we're kind of decent for that. We have some expensive stuff. Uh, I don't want to play it right now in my deck, but I might want it later. And that's really nice that we actually can do that. Go figure. Uh, when another creature dies, this will gain two AP. Is going to gain evasive two. Okay, so it's basically stealth. And then an extra attack. Yikes. Uh, what is this here? Every four cards you play in a turn, suffer poison two. If you already suffer from poison, suffer burning three. Ew. I mean... We didn't play four cards. I should have definitely got rid of that. It's just going to eat up one of our draws, basically. Okay, so we have the bleed. He, he's 100% a hundred, a hundred of what we need. Okay. Uh, when another creature dies, it's okay. 2, two AP. I mean, if we can get that guy to die, that's really about the best we could do here. Inflict 20 damage. Slay draw two. Boom. So, seven incoming... Damage. I'm sure we can find a way to block that all. But we don't want to play another card because then we would have played four. The bleed will not kill. Alright, this is all fine. This is all fine. Who cares? Who cares? He's, he's going to die to bleed. Ah, but another one came. But of course, choose one card you want to discard. We have two threat incoming. Draw one, discard one. I mean, he gonna die. That much I know. We have two threat. We'll, I do probably want to parry. Uh, we are. We have poison one. Start of your turn, you'll suffer, da suffer damage equal to your poison. Takes down by one. Okay, so is that where our threat is coming from? I, I imagine. 17 incoming. Uh, that's a lot. We bleed ya. It's not enough. You know what? It's fine. Oh, wait, what was I thinking? I don't know why I was. <laughs> okay, well, we got the 20 coming. We should be fine. We should be fine. Because he's going to die to bleed, and then we should be able to fully kill. Oh, uh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> That's 16 damage, because we do 8 twice. Woof. Yikes. Okay, so. I'll admit, I'm a curious boy. Inflict another, another 16. See... We would have to really draw specifically those cards, though. I, also, what is our passive here? Every time you move to an empty tile, tick this value up by one at the start of combat. The first creature you pl first creature you play an attack card against will suffer vulnerable X, where X is equal to this value. That's really that's really interesting. So all of those blank tiles are actually useful to us now. That's a very clever way of uh, of, of benefiting that there. All right, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to buff up. Bleed five, block eight. I'm gonna do this. Oh, that also increased the mana to three. I don't think it, uh, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. 
I don't think it makes sense to upgrade the overcharge stuff. That is what I was going to say. Shrine, Twisted Shrine. So we can see that these are going to... Uh, we can also plan out our route just by right-clicking here. It doesn't really... It's just a way to keep my mind straight here. Uh, choice to heal, cleanse your sh your deck, avoid cards, or gain some extra essence, which is just gold, or souls, which is like super gold. Uh, boy, oh boy. Let's go. If we go here, we, are, we cannot do this entire path, which I guess I'm fine with. Merchant. Let's do the upgrade. Let's do it. This being grows stronger for every four cards you play in a turn and has the ability to expel your cards. Okay. I, the more we play, the more I will know. Whoa. So he's just one big boy. Yoink. One card chosen randomly from your deck will be expelled. If your deck is empty, it'll be taken from your discard pile. Ooh. He gonna yoink it. All right. Well... It's a good thing we kind of have like a single target stack up build. This bleed. Ooh. We have no incoming damage, but we can just expend all that, do this, stack even more bleed. Got to play under four cards, which is not too hard to do right now. We have 12 threat. I like the way this threat system works. I really do. Uh, what is this? Five. You can expel it to gain five. And then play two of those? That's kind of the... I think that's a better play. Because we still... That's still only three cards played. Your hand side is reduced by your cripple value, which is two. Well, it's a good thing that uh, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Ow. Good. Get an upgrade point as well. Rage 50. I mean, that's really fascinating. I, I think that that could be a lot of fun to go for something like that. Seven to all creatures. Six bleed to all creatures is definitely something of note as well. Let's go with the scatter shot. All right. Gain... X volatile. The text is pretty small. Is there? I thought there was a text size. This is larger fonts. Maybe it's just on the hover stuff. Uh, gain five volatile. Light it up cards. Oh, that's the overcharge. Ooh, we don't have enough for that. That could be really fun. Oh, you can, and you could buy the upgraded one. That, this is so cool. Uh, block 20, we could get another one of those. The upgrade one is pretty cool. Blade Storm, apply bleed to all creatures. I'm actually going to buy that. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Should we get rid of a single for the throat or a parry or smash you know what let's get rid of that one for now we can always put it back if we change our mind all creatures suffer vulnerable to slow to weak to what happened to the other one I don't know man Nah, we'll keep we'll keep that we'll keep that we'll keep that cursed item some items are tainted with the void's dark essence although they come with benefits they also carry their own misfortunes okay the start of combat choose a card from your deck to add to your hand lose an energy certain actions may add void cards into your deck you currently have zero drain the item gain one void card Eight souls. Oh! Drain the wicked item of its power. Destroy it. Gain three souls. Drain it of its power. Let's just get a bunch more souls. Okay, take the item accepting its curse. You'll gain one void card. 
let's just do it to see what that kind of looks like. Uh, we get to pick a card. I don't know that I necessarily think that that's going to be that beneficial for us. Draw a card, discard a card. You know what? Let's put that on this since it might be the thing that we do for right away. We can maybe set up a, a better hand. I don't know. Uh, okay, discarded loot. First come, first served. A choice of card rewards along with some essence and some chance of some upgrade points. Sure. Right? Choose a card. All hidden blades, which we don't have any of, will trigger an additional one time. We don't have anything way to do that. Block four, apply bleed two to a random enemy rebound. The first time it's played, it will return to your hand. Deal six damage if the creature... You know what? That sounds really good to have instead of a, a base block. I'm upgrading it. I'm upgrading it. I've just met this and I will already die for it. Get rid of a parry. Put that bad boy in there. I like it. So if we put a gem in that, it gets extra benefited. Twisted Shrine. Cleanse your deck of void cards. Can we see what our void card is? When drawn, gain vulnerable one weakness scrap expel. Sure. Gain 500 essence and gain three. You know what? Let's get greedy. Disheveled salesman. Questionable gentleman selling artifacts or essence. Uh, let's go here since we have 12 souls. Let's see what we could possibly buy. Start all fights with your energy at its maximum. That's kind of nice with my current process, thought process, for what I'm going to put in my hand. Uh, purple void stone, gain overcharge. So we could put this. Oh, I. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I had one more. I'm going to get this because I think it'll be really nice. Uh, but I'm going to go on after that. Sells potions for your consumption, at least 200 essence. Let's go down this way. Expel two cards from your deck. Expel. Do we do we get to pick what those are? I don't know. Aggressive fight with creatures that can sack both poison and increase their own frenzy. Can be tough to withstand their attacks for long. I, I, I could have removed maybe a defend by chance. Oh, it's already in my hand. Okay, so... If it's already in my hand. Maybe we go for... We're going to want an attack. I'm trying to see. Sure. All right. It's not a swift card, though. That's not a swift card, either. Sure. Get the bleed going on there. Uh, that is a bleed. Oh, boy. Did we just draw that card, and then we're not even going to plan on... Using it. I, I just, I felt like I had to use it because I picked it, you know? Like, I, it's kind of thing where I'm like, I'm already in there, I guess. Oh, shoot. I didn't even. At the start of its turn, this creature will consume the leftmost gloom shroom, increasing its frenzy by one. Will not increase the battle progress bar. Well, it's a good new thing that we're going to just be able to pop that guy right like that. Gain five block just by purging. Sure. All right. So you are bleeding. We could kill. And let's get you bleeding for next turn. All right. Good deal. Can't purge. Can't purge. So we have one vulnerable. You take an extra 50% damage. I don't like that, but the man's dead, so it doesn't matter. We don't have to even take the damage. Expel two cards from your deck. Expel. All right. 
bleed five to all creatures. What about what's in our backpack? It's interesting. So it's it's just to thin out your deck, literally. It's called thinning out. So I mean, shock ah. How could I piece two and two together there? What a genius am I. Spell child, friendly young boy with the ability to impart knowledge of new spells to cast for cost, ability to purchase new spells with essence. Sure, that sounds fun. Hello, spell boy. Next card you play will cost zero. Applies week two. That sounds fun. Let's select it. Oh, I wonder, does the cooldown impart? Also, we're going to, we have two right here. So we should make them suffer vulnerable two. All right, Um, inflict bleed and draw. Bleed five and draw. Trigger the target's bleed. And then apply two to all. Ooh. I'm doing it. Sure. Sure. Should probably get rid of like a, um, more of a utility thing. Um, let's get rid of that for now. I think it's just going to be a better version of that for now. Rage 25% for the rest of the turn. All attack cards deal more damage. Uh, I like the idea of putting that on a draw blood. No, I don't. I like the idea of putting it on a for the throat. What am I thinking? There we go. Used and permanent. Wait. Used and permanently consumed at the start of the combat. I see. So we just wasted that other potion. Gotcha. Suffers 50% more damage. Do we need to do that before the boss? I'm going to say no. I'm going to be a, a big, tough, dumb boy. Fairly well-rounded fight with the ability to inflict fear. Killing his minions will heal the king himself. Uh, okay. It's Leoric. We doing this? We doing this. All right. Uh, trigger the target's bleed. Definitely get rid of that. Uh, pow! Oh, wait. Did the upgrade? We also probably should have done... If we would have done this right away, I think that could have been a good idea, too. Uh, we still could. I know it's a little silly, but it gives us a really, really good opener. And that two mana, it... Even though we have the one left over, it's not a waste. You don't have to play perfectly on curve. And I like that a lot. All right, so we have eight. Ah. Uh. How much does it heal him? Eight. Okay. So we get it back in our hand. We can pretty much say no thank you to those. Okay. All right, incoming 16. We are also, we still have the something extra. We have combo, which doesn't, we it's irrelevant. That was something that the other character was more focused on. Uh, well. Hmm. Block it all. Perfect, perfect first floor. You will not damage me, floor. You will not damage me. He's getting strong. So he got healed up. But then these guys are slowly buffing themselves up as well. So that does 
uh, it does help us out. Two, buckle my shoe. I don't think that I'm gonna want to, yeah. Do whatever it is. We got a new void stone. I can't remember what that one is. I don't know if I ever knew. Rigged, ga card gains rigged. It starts at the top of your deck. Interesting. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Your rewards are listed below. 138 essence, 5 souls, 90 essence bonus, perfect fight, and a new spell from dust. Okay. Choose a reward from the list below to aid in your crusade against the void. Two random void stones. Ooh. A booster pack or two upgrade points. Oh, that's a fun decision to, to have to make. I think let's go with... Where are we lacking? Let's just get some upgrade points. Uh, just some good old fashioned, straight up upgrade points. Anything that we want to have upgraded in here that we just didn't pick because it wasn't upgraded? I don't think so. Uh, sure. All right. But you know what? I hate to do it, but the runs along. We are going to have to take this one up in the next episode to make sure that you do not miss any of it consider subscribing to the channel of course with the link below i'm going to be putting this up every single day at noon central as long as you guys continue to support this series if you want to get the game for yourself wish list it please with the link in the description vault of the void coming soon in december it is a wonderful wonderful deck builder with a lot of customization and Really smart, clever ways to balance around the the flaws often found in deck builders. It really is a wonderfully designed game, and I hope you will give it your uh, give it your attention, give it your love, because it is the next great deck builder. I really do think so. Thank you, for watching. My name is Retromation. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and uh, if you got something to say, comment down below. Those two things are ways to help improve where this lands in the search results and the recommendeds which are ways to really help out both me and the game. Because if you do those things, it'll help show me to people who like the game. It'll also help uh, show the game to people who like me. It'll be more likely to show up for people who are subbed to my channel, everything like that. So if you like one or both of us, it's a, it's a winning situation. But thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.